Hi, thought I'd make a little bit of a quick video about messing up because I think a lot of people go, all right, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get into recovery. And then they start, they start doing unrestricted eating, they stop the compulsive movement and they do well for a day or two and then something trips them up and they slip, slide back into restrictive patterns, compulsive movement patterns, eating disorder behaviors. And then they're sort of taken by surprise by it. And after a couple of days they go, oh shit, I'm doing all this again. And then they sort of go like, oh, well, I'm just, I'm just rubbish, aren't I? I just can't do recovery, can't do recovery. Not gonna even try again. Now, all of that pattern of, I'm gonna do this and then getting tripped up, that's, that's normal for recovery. That's what recovery really from anything looks like. And the reason it's normal is because we learn from where we trip up. And so when you're in eating disorder recovery, you are going against something that your brain is really fearful of. And your brain will use every trick in the book to try and stop you doing the things that it's afraid of. And so your brain's gonna use some trips that do trip you up. And the whole point of that is your recovery time from that. So say if something trips you up and you sort of get looped into restricting again, then as soon as you realize that you're restricting again, boom, it's got to stop. And not only does it stop, but you realize what it was that tripped you up and you learn from that. So whatever thought it was, say if it's an orthorexic thought, like, oh, it's everybody knows that I need to be healthy and eat this and I'll just do, you know, eat a little bit healthier and then boom, before you know it, you're back in your restrictive patterns. Then as soon as you realize that that's what's happened, you gotta look back at it and go like, ah, oh, that was that thought that got me. So now I know that that thought gets me and I'm not gonna let that thought get me anymore. And you sort of put that down and then you'll go and you'll do well for a, a little while and then another thought will get you and it'll slightly trip you up and you pick yourself up and you dust yourself up and you go, well, fuck, I better just watch out for that one again. And you watch out for that thought and you don't let that thought trip you up. And, and that's sort of what recovery looks like. But the the when I'm talking about the recovery time from that, what I mean is how quickly you can realize that you've been tripped up how quickly you can fix that stop being tripped up and move on and carry on with it and you can get that recovery time down so that you're reacting so fast to you getting tripped up that it's almost like you didn't get tripped up <laughs> and the reason that we're able to then start reacting fast to that is just through the experience of knowing what it feels like to get tripped up and what it looks like when we get tripped up and so you start to anticipate it even happening before it's really happened and then it doesn't even look like you properly got tripped up it's hard to describe but i think a lot of you will know what i'm talking about getting tripped up by things messing up is actually an important part of recovery because like I said, unless you mess up, you can't realize that you messed up and then you can't fix it and then you can't look out for the things that tripped you up. Um, and so there's no point getting all down on yourself about it. And in fact, when, when we do that, it's a little bit of that victim mentality coming in, isn't it? It's just sort of, you just, well, it's just, you know, I don't want to do it, I don't like it anymore. You're having a bit of a tantrum about it. And, so just don't do that, you know, it's the, it's a waste of energy. It's so much energy being pissed off with yourself. It's just not going anywhere and it's not doing anything. It's completely unproductive energy. So don't even bother. Just, oh, shit. Oh, well, back on the bandwagon. Off I go again. Learn from that. that that's, all, that's all that needs to happen. You don't need to dwell on it. You don't need to get all down in the dumps and wallow in self. I'm shit pity. You just pick yourself up and you get on with it. And like I said, once you get good at doing that, you get so good at picking yourself up after you tripped up that it doesn't even look like you tripped. And that's sort of how then recovery starts to pan out. Because what recovery is a lot of is just knowing your head really not well, and knowing how your fear response influences you really well. Anyway, I just thought I'd make a little bit of a video on that because 
um, I've spoken to a lot of people recently that have been going home recovery and they, they get off to a great start and they're all like, yes, I'm going to do this. And then something trips them up and then they're suddenly all like, no, oh, I can't do it. It's like, nah, nah, you can. Off you go. Go on. Don't even, not even a thing. Just get on with it. Learn from it. Okay, bye.